guys, the uh, road to Omaha has begun. I'm here with Tommy Coughlin and we are ready for this 10 hour drive starting right now. This is hour one. We're gonna do a little Q&A action here and on Instagram I asked you guys to keep us occupied on this 10 hour drive and the first question comes from Weston Smith and he wants us to rank the 10, top 10 MLW players of all time. Uh, I think it's kind of obvious who the top three are in my mind. For Kyle Schultz, Daniel Schultz, Tommy Coughlin, top three. And then when you go four through like seven, it's kind of a toss up in our minds. I'd probably put like Noah, Alec Warda. Brendan Schultz. Brendan Schultz, he's, he's in there. Chad Ryan, Renzi. Chad Renzi, Jack Chevalier, very uh, forgotten players. They were very good in this league. You say Ryan Cratch. Ryan Cratch in there. Clayton Price, that's a good player in my mind. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that one. He can pitch and he can hit, in my opinion. You know what? Scrap it. Number one, Kyle Gehrke. It's now 2.40, hour two. Hour three, hour three, everybody. All right, next question. Uh, York Villa Wiffleball League said, what are the top five MLW moments not in the video? So I really like this question, and one of them that comes to my mind is when the year was 2013 and Noah Dabrico and uh, the rest of the Southern Seahawks original team, they were pretty much begging to be in the league. We didn't know how good they were going to be, so me, Tommy, and Chad Renzi actually challenged them to a whiff ball game and pretty much said, if you guys score against us, we'll highly consider it. And so uh, I just remember uh, Chad Renzi giving up a couple homers to Noah, and that was like the, kind of like the deciding factor in uh, allowing the Seahawks to come into this league back in 2013. Looking back, probably a bad decision, but you know, we had some fun with the Seahawks. I'm not going to yeah. deny that. A rip 2018. All right, so we're approaching, I think, hour five here, and it looks like we hit some traffic. Wendy's was great. Uh, I got some kind of chicken bacon sandwich with yummy goodness sauce on it, and I got a chicken go wrap uh, for the road here, so gonna gas up. I'll get this baby back on the road. Should be there by midnight, so uh, here we go, part two. Folks, we are now in hour six, hour six of the day. Uh, what is it, hour eight? Hour eight, I think. Another thing that's not really caught on camera too much, but one of my favorite parts about the league is just kind of the interaction between players. Uh, just, just getting on each other for stupid things. I mean, we're all friends, but in the moment, it's pretty funny when people get heated at each other and just kind of the, the banter between players. That's something you have to kind of experience. Uh, you probably see, happens on a professional level too, you just don't see it on side, you know? Actually, I, I want to address something. Tommy, there was a very um, different smell from Iowa. Can you please oh describe the smell? God. Describe the smell. driving through central Iowa, it just smells like poop. There's no other way to put it. Like, it smells like you walk into a bathroom and someone did yeah. flush for four days. It was one of the... Look I up, almost gagged in my shirt. Look up Iowa so City manure air. It's a real thing. like this, put a smile on your face, that's about all I can say. <laughs> here in the uh, yeah. Omaha, Nebraska. Session one, I'm already sweating, haven't even started playing yet, but uh, the Minnesota fans came out and showed some love, so we're gonna play a couple pickup games with them, maybe a little home run derby after, so uh, we'll film it and show you guys. Let's get to it. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Another, another dinger for the kid. Oh. 
Give me the gypsy. Yeah, have fun hitting that. Uh, so uh, game one wrapped up, and uh, my team got the dub. Shout out to my boys. Tommy, how are you taking the loss? Uh, you know, I think overall we played well. We played our hearts out, you know, in that 15 minute game. You got to know him so well, I didn't put you? put everything into that game, yeah. So it hurts to fall short, but uh, we're going to go have a good time at the uh, Michigan versus Texas Tech game. Yep, go blue. Enjoy some college baseball. Let the, let the fans know on what you're in. will do base hit. I kid you not, you could ask him yourself. You went 0 for 2 against me in a high school baseball game. Way to hang your hat on. Struck out and a pop up to left field. 0 for 2. I wish I had a uh, Nacho Supreme like Comerica Park. I'll get a large popcorn and then uh, water. Looks like I just missed something. All right, we're chilling here, Omaha Baseball Village. I'm here with my boy Josh Shapiro, founder of Baseball Lifestyle 101. My guy, Josh, good to see you. it's a pleasure coming out here. Uh, thanks for having us. Uh, I mean, you've been so impactful of our success, and I just want to thank you firsthand. Of course. And uh, just talk to the fans about how our partnership kind of all began. It was just all organic, man. I think I hit you up. I yeah. was like, I'd love to be a part of what you guys are doing. You yep. guys are doing an amazing thing on YouTube. Yep. Uh, with football, it's all about more than a game, right? It's a lifestyle. Right. So right. as a baseball player, with football is part of a lifestyle. So exactly. we want to partner with you guys. Helping you guys some exposure on Instagram, and then you guys help us out on YouTube side. Right. So. And so I, I think I know the answer to this next question. What's your favorite moment in the past two years of baseball lifestyle being incorporated into MLW? Oh, it's easy. Sports Center all day long. All I mean, day long. That catch. Shout over, out Zach Pirog. That catch over the over our logo, <laughs> left field. Like, funny story about that, but most people don't know. We had a small banner. Yep. And one day we're like, let's just get saying he's got a bigger banner. Yep. Two weeks later, Sports Center. Can't uh, play on that, but unreal. that was the best thing ever. Unreal. Love that. Well, Josh, thanks again for having us. Of course, uh, man. Fantastic facility you got going out here. Uh, Thanks, it's a great pop up shop. Appreciate uh, it. It's a great time out here. Omaha Baseball Village. All right, so we got a big fan right here. Loyal fans since yeah, 2012. 2012. Unbelievable. Yeah. He was a big Wildcat fan back yeah. then. Now, uh, let the fans know what team you're rolling with uh, this year. You know, I'm with the Preds. I like uh, what Ward is doing with oh, the yeah. crash. And, like, oh, yeah. He knows all about yeah, it. Man, I love it, bro. Good, hey, bro. I just want to thank you for yeah, coming by. Uh, I appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, we're out here at Omaha Baseball Village. It's been a great time so far. Right, thank on. you, Caleb. We do it for the kids. For the, for the youth. What's up, guys? I'm here with Kyle and Tommy from MLW Wiffle Ball. We're about to do an Easton hit land battle for the furthest ball hit. We're about to turn these sliders all the way up. We're going to see who can hit the ball farther. Wiffle Ball guys or ex baseball players? Let's find out. 675 on the board. Head back to New York. 821. Oh, Get a number on that. 656. Either way, BO 101. Took down MLW. Big surprise. Upset with himself, obviously. Bro, what, what happened, man? You know, I haven't played baseball in maybe like four years, and I think it showed here. But I'd like to see. I'd like to see Josh and Kyle hit one of our risers or gypsy drops. I'd like to see that very much. So. Ooh, gypsy drop. Name a time. What can I? That's a bomb. That's a bomb. Dang it. Pretty much anything, like rule of thumb is just like the ball's gonna break opposite of holes. So if it's holes to right, it's gonna be a slider. Oh, let's go. 
Off his son. 17. Oh! Oh, he loves it. He's really reliving the glory days and hitting homers, hitting bombs. Jeez Louise. Oh, what, who's this kid? Where'd this kid come from? Hey! Atta boy! Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. All right, so we're out here Saturday night, Omaha, Nebraska, and we're ready to get the Home Run Derby going. Uh, we got sick prizes, courtesy of Spiders Batting Gloves. Uh, so we got some kids from Minnesota, some kids from Texas, and some kids from Nebraska still. So uh, we'll get this going right now, and we'll get some player interviews. Peyton, how are you gonna win this Home Run Derby? Keep my eye on the ball and smack it. Do you do you think you're gonna win the Home Run Derby? No. Oh, he said no, why not? Uh, Cause I only make contact here. Oh, he's a contact here. That's I think why. you're gonna be the favorite to win this Home Run Derby. Well, uh, you never could go into the home run derby with that mindset, but you know, goals always win, so. Goals always win. Win, baby, win. There it is. Go! Oh! Oh! Oh, baby! So I'm here with the champion of the Home Run Derby, Andrew, went off for 14 dingers, and courtesy of Spider Batting Gloves, we're gonna give you the hat, batting gloves, and bat grip. Congrats, Andrew. Pleasure yeah. having you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you to everybody for coming out. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow, Omaha Baseball Village, as well as the Heartland of America Park. We'll see you tomorrow. Check out the village, boys. We got boot grips out here, shout out to them. Our guy RJ is busy hustling, but uh, good dude, good product, check it out. I'm telling you, three throws is all it's going to take, I'll sink at least one. This is why the Mallards lose in the playoffs, folks. Accuracy. on the baseball village, head to the field, another derby coming your way. Anything to add, Hunter? Dirty Riser Dave, that a boy. Dirty Dave. We got, we got Dirty Dan and MLW. This is Dirty Dave. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh 
Yeah, Caleb. That's it, Caleb with the dub, Spiders batting gloves prize pack, the man of the hour. Tom, let us know about the champ. Caleb, man of the hour, I think he had 12 dangers today. Oh, uh, what a clutch performance. performance. Alright folks, we just wrapped up day two here at Omaha. College World Series was unbelievable, I mean, way better than I expected. Uh, Tommy, can you just speak about how crazy this was? Uh, just shout out to the real fans who you know are coming out to see us, tuning into the videos every week. Uh, really means a lot to us when you know, you know, Kyle puts a lot of work into editing. You know, we all put in a lot of work, you know, day in and day out. You know, making the videos possible. So, you know, to meet all the people who watch, who are constantly watching, um, it's pretty cool. It puts everything into perspective, and it uh, makes it a long drive like this worth it. Right. So just big shout out to everybody that came out and met us. Uh, big shout out to all the all the guys in the baseball village. You know that we went and talked with. You know, you guys are awesome. And uh, playing with ball with you guys, doing those home run derbies, it really, really made our weekend. So thank you guys so much.